Greetings and welcome to the Sports Card Ripping Teacher. Thank you for joining us on such a monumental occasion. As always, it's Friday, we're going downtown hunting, but it's also a Fighting Irish Friday. Every Friday I toss these shoes on right over here. I've had them for like, might be almost seven years now. Only wear them on Friday game weeks for Notre Dame, but also the Green Bay Packers start their march toward the Lombardi Trophy a little bit later on today on the Peacock Network of all things. So make sure you have that channel uh, for today. But it was awesome to have football back yesterday. Uh, we had our, so some buddies and I, uh, we teamed together, most notable the uh, Rock of Woodridge, in a team auction. So each team, you know, bid them up, whatever you want to do. And you will own some teams for the season, and you get paid out per victory that they have. There is also a bonus for the top so many teams in victories, and also a bonus for the fewest number of victories for those teams. So we are the proud owners of the Jacksonville Jaguars and the uh, Cincinnati Bengals. And we definitely have a process. You know, The Rock, he has his spreadsheet there. We're kind of checking things. And uh, we know where we want to go with the bid, where a team could be profitable. And uh, once it's not, we're out. And it's crazy. Uh, the 49ers got the most amount of money yesterday. I think it was $660, followed by, I think, uh, the Chiefs were $620 maybe. And someone was $600. I forget exactly what it was. But, yeah, we were out way before that. So pretty much those teams have to win, like, 12 games, and then if you get the bonus for most amount of wins or 13 games, then you're definitely profitable, but uh, whew, it's rough. I think some guys just don't do the math. They just start bidding, call them degenerates, whatever you want to call them, but it's good to have football back. The game yesterday, Kansas City did win, so uh, shout out to Jax and Wildcat. They are definitely happy this morning, and some of you may be waiting for my Packers predictions. Well, if you want me to think rationally, you have to go back to the video uh, last year, I think, after the schedule came out, after the draft. I broke down the Packers season. I think I had them going 11-6, um, and six, something like that, right around there. And I thought through each game, you know, looking at, okay, they're coming off a longer road trip here or three weeks on the road. That's going to be hard. But football starts, you know, today, baby. Packers are going to win every single game this year and they're going to the Super Bowl. All right, class is in session. Today's, what'd you think, folks? No way in the world am I going to say the Packers are going to lose a game at this point. We're all in. All right, today is Friday, September 6th, Lesson 17. And shout out to Mark Grace. That was my favorite player growing up. I meant to bring my PC binder with me today, but um, I did forget it. And he was my favorite player, but also makes me think of my mom and dad just you know going to Wrigley Field all the time, watching the Cubs on WGN, also listening to the Cubs on the radio a lot. A lot of really good memories. And whenever I take those cards out, I show them to the boys, or I just look at them. You know, that's what I think about. Um, also, kind of going back to yesterday, this is the date in 1995 that Cal Ripken broke Lou Gehrig's consecutive games streak. All right, let's get started. All right, we had all kinds of stuff to do today. So uh, I forgot to do this earlier in the week, but those people that uh, faded me, Ellie had zero home runs. Grizzos cards, Cincinnati Reds fan. Man, I may have to call the uh, reporters there in Cincinnati and let them know it's us again playing the numbers. I don't blame you. It makes sense. And Chris Munoz, I think he just won uh, three good nerds contest for his monthly contest. They're in the hopper. And I did not, I wrote down, I still had this post, my desk is full of post-it notes, folks. And once I get things, you know, taken care of, I take it down, but if it's still there, I have to do it. So from last week, lucky card pulls in the hopper, J plus K retro gaming. Uh, I don't know if Daryl officially put himself in, but he said Soto's hot. So I took that as a yes, and Juan Soto did hit a home run. Uh, pack Attic Rips, they're in there. Shout out to his dad. He's a big Green Bay Packer fan. Card Collector 65, he just started his first teaching job this week. I got something going out to him. Hopefully get that out this weekend, but hopefully it's been a good school year. Grizzo and Chris Nunez. Again, I get it, folks. It is smart to fade me 
or any one of us on these things, it's not easy, even though I'm winning the contest, kind of making it look easy, I guess, it's not easy to pick the day for the home run. So I've got Jazz uh, this weekend at Wrigley Field. I'll be in the house. It's also my wife's birthday Sunday, so don't be afraid to give her a shout out. So let's get to this uh, first. So this is the Tops Now, I believe, from um, the Olympics. So we got that right there. Yep, it is. And so I guess if I have a, I was like a, a foil pack, I've got a chance. If not, then I don't. Come on, hot hands. We've been hot the past couple Fridays. Uh, okay, there's no foil pack there, so I don't think we did it. Let's take a look at the cards. I bought one Steph Curry and two of the triple ones. Um, Graham actually wanted one of the triple cards. So him and I would have split the million dollars, whatever it would have been for the one-on-one. -on -one. But there it is, Steph Curry, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, We've got two of those. Go Bulls! And we've got the Steph Curry right there. Jack really likes Steph Curry, so maybe uh, he can earn that one from me right there. All right, so I think now we're into opening some cards. It's time to go downtown hunting. Jax, he opened his tin um, yesterday, and I can't say I've ever seen a downtown pull out of these, but I do think... Maybe not this year, but from last year, uh, from those Dick Sporting Goods, um, I don't even know to call the boxes. I think I know 18 or 20 packs, and there are four cards per pack. I have seen the downtown pulled out of there, so it is possible, but I mainly wanted the 10. We'll put that on display here at school. Take out our four packs. Ooh, they feel lucky. They, they do feel lucky. All right. Uh, Fantasy Rip League. Um, and I kind of thought, but I wasn't 100% sure. You always ask the committee. Like I said, if you're not sure, you ask questions. Um, the Willie Galt was not usable. Uh, it has to be a retired defensive player in order to for it to count. Dalton Kincaid, Brian Dawkins, Jack Youngblood. I do have a student from last year uh, coming in. I've got some Packers cards ready to go for him. Maybe I can get one more Packer here. Unless it's a downtown. Then I, you know, I got to keep it, of course. All right, Jair Alexander. That can go in his pile right there. Paris Johnson Jr. Christian McCaffrey. Is he playing? And I was literally, you know, maybe the NFC is a little bit weaker division, but I was kind of surprised that the 49ers went for the most in our auction. And it does seem like a lot of guys do... Um, like working groups, so just don't think I, you know, go around with a bunch of high high rollers, folks. Dalton Schultz, Kirk Cousins, Hardy Nickerson. All right, one last pack. So are we cooling off on our Fridays here? J.C. Horn, Tony Baselli, Diamond Hands, Amari Cooper. I sure hope he caught that ball. I don't know. Looks iffy to me. Diamond Hands, Amari Cooper, and the Honey Badger. Everyone, enjoy the football this weekend. Have a great time. Spend time with your family. Class is dismissed.